Bernard Tobin here at the Ontario CCA annual uh, conference, uh, joined now by uh, Ken Curra, who's the uh, chair of the organization. Hey, Ken, uh, how's it going? It's going great today. We've got a full house and lots of good information, so we're having a lot of fun. Now, Ken, this is the 15th year for uh, this, you know, this meeting. Uh, you know, it's pretty exciting, pretty dynamic. A couple of hundred agronomists in the room. You must be pleased with where this organization is going. Yeah, it's it's fun uh, having been on the executive in recent years to uh, and on the board of directors to, to really see the growth in the organization, the growth in the conference, and the the vigor around it. Um, almost 300 registered, I believe. The number is 286. Might have been a couple of walk-ins in there. So yeah, we have a pretty full house in there. Uh, awesome to be part of something that's growing and uh, and a well-respected uh, organization and program. Now you're over 600 in membership. You got about 110 ready to write the exam. What does that say about the state of uh, agronomy and the need for CCAs in Ontario? Yeah, so that's a real indicator of uh, of uh, that's a real in- indicator of grower demand. Uh, producers are demanding our expertise. Uh, that a certified crop advisor com- uh, comes up the driveway and brings to their table and to their farm, and. Uh, certainly in the distribution channel as well because you know we are certified crop advisors but we do some of us do sell products to farmers um that expertise required to to recommend those products in the right way uh, and from an ethical standpoint and really help those producers work on their crop management challenges and, and impact their bottom line in a positive way that's important there's there's high demand for our expertise in the field um I think, you know, people have said you, you've also got some kudos coming your way for reacting to the needs of the industry. And, uh, you know, two years ago, I think you started the 4R certification. I think you're, you know, you're up to about 89 members who've gotten that right now. How does, uh, how does that fit into the equation? Yeah, that's an awesome success story for the CCA program here in Ontario. And that was really driven by, a, by a, an agricultural and social need, which was, was primarily Lake Erie water quality, right? So the 4R strategy and the, the uh, specialty for the CCAs that came along with it. Uh, in Ontario, we have about one-third of the overall North American CCAs that are, that are uh, certified under 4R uh, NMS specialty uh, certification. So great success story. Um, you know that it's something that as an industry we have to work towards um towards uh soil and water quality and, and making some advancements there for the long-term viability of uh of crop production now the other thing you're always involved in is is public policy there's uh, all kinds of policy and regulations being made uh, and uh you know developed that inf- impact agriculture and farming as a board you're very busy yeah, we're a busy group. We get lots of requests to participate in small, uh, local kind of micro groups, uh, small watershed groups of uh, stakeholders, which could be concerned citizens, municipal politicians, and uh, and infrastructure management people, uh, farmers, etc. And then some of the bigger things that are driven at the at the provincial government level, the soil and water. Uh, the soil health strategy, uh, Lake Erie water quality, um, the cover crop strategy, uh, Ontario Weeds Committee. We've been involved in so many things as a key stakeholder at the table. And to be able to get the CCA perspective and CCA voice at the table in the uh, in the process of, uh, of policymakers and the influencers drafting those strategies for the betterment of Ontario agriculture and for the betterment of our soils and water supply, uh, it's really important for us to be there, and it's been a great opportunity for the CCA. It's been great exposure for us, and our voice really is needed at the table because ultimately, when best management practices are introduced, and uh, and hopefully not talking about policy and regulation, such as in some previous recent legislation around seed treatments, you know, we're we're ultimately as as certified crop advisors, we're the front line when it comes to implementing these strategies and these new best management practices at the farm gate level so it's it's important for us to be there during the formative stages of those policies um it's january 2018 uh, as you're looking forward to the rest of the year and, and into the immediate future i mean what uh, what are you thinking about the you know what ccas need to do where the where do they need to grow any services or even some policies you need to get involved in out there yeah, so as CCAs, you know, going forward, we, we definitely need to be involved at those those stakeholder committee tables uh, in those meeting rooms. Um, we need to have our voice there. We need to be part of the development of those strategies. We need to uh, continue to liaise with the producer organizations, uh, the farm lobby groups, 
uh, government. I mean, uh, we're, we're kind of intersecting a lot of those organizations and, uh, and building those relationships with those, with those key people. Um, we need to continue to be that key stakeholder uh, along with those organizations at the table. Um, as always, Certified Crop Advisor as an individual needs to keep building their expertise. It's why we have a continuing education mandate to maintain your CCA certification. Uh, we need to keep getting keep getting smarter. Agriculture is changing, and uh, we need to change along with it. And we need to become uh, more adept at, at what's new as far as those changes in agriculture and really help our producers implement what's new and better on their farm. Well, uh, nothing, uh, nothing better than a CCA conference here, Ken, uh, as a great group of people. Um, lots of uh, agronomy talk, and hey, thanks for taking the time. Hey, no problem. I appreciate the opportunity, Bern.